This looks fantastic. Do you want to do the same on your Galaxy S10, S10 Plus or S10e or any other Huawei device with punch hole notch? Then follow this particular video. This app can be used on many other Samsung devices as well such as Samsung Galaxy A50. You may have to tinker around with some settings. I'll show you how to do that as well in this particular video. Without further delay, let's get started. First of all, you will need to download this app which will be linked in the description box below. Download it, open it up. I'm going to set up everything from the beginning. So click here for settings to set up the app basically. You need to enable all these four options. So I'm going to select this, enable, always on edge, allow, show over other apps, allow permission, phone state, allow, change system settings, allow. Allow this app to run without restriction. You have to enable this so that the battery optimizer won't kill the app from running in the background. Now, even though the apps you are may not seem like very easy to set up, it's kinda easy. You just have to read stuff. How and when to light up? Very easy question. Do you want it to start manually only when I want it and only when I open the app? No, I want it when a notification comes. So here is an option when a notification comes. And when do you want the edge lighting? When the screen is off or when the screen is on or it doesn't matter for you. If you want it only when the screen is off, then select the first option, then second option and the third option means always on. No matter if your screen is off or on, I'm going to select the first option personally because I do not want this app to drain through my battery just in few hours. Now you also want to set up a reminder which will remind you that there is a notification by doing this edge lighting stuff every 30 seconds for eight seconds. You can change that to 40 seconds as well if you want. And to make sure that the edge lighting will turn on for all the applications, click over here, select show system apps, wait for a couple of seconds and then select enable all here. So that edge lighting will be turned on for all the applications. If you want to disable any particular application like Swift Key keyboard, you can do that manually here as well. But I'm going to select enable all because I'm okay with edge lighting being turned on for all the applications. I also want the edge lighting whenever I put the device on charging and as the device is in charging state, I want it to be always on no matter whether the display is on or off. And if you use wireless charging, you can select wireless charge only I'm going to disable that because I don't use wireless charger. When you plug your headset, you can select this as well and the screen is off. It will start showing edge lighting. I do not want this because when my headsets are plugged in, usually my phone is in my pocket. Most importantly, don't run if the battery level is less than 30. I have selected 30. You can change it to 40, 50 or anything that you like. Now select this option long touch to close meaning simulate on screen fingerprint sensor S10 plus has it. So if I long press on the home screen, it will detect my fingerprint and it will unlock the device as well. I have selected double tap to close and uh, fingerprint is not working. Try to fix it because when I used it on my S10 plus my fingerprint sensor was not that quick to respond. So when I selected this option, it started working faster. I'm not going to change any of these settings and I'm going to come directly over here. Enable edge lighting. Obviously that's enabled. Now you can change whether you want it around all the screen light, right and left side only or top and bottom side only or around the notch only which is specifically made for S10 plus, S10 and Huawei's uh, punch hole notch. On the S10 plus you do not have to do anything. Just select adjust automatically and it will adjust automatically according to the notch even on S10 or Huawei's hole punch notch which I have mentioned multiple times. I'm going to select around all screen and I'm going to select enable notch support as well. If you want to change this effect, how do you do that? Simply select sparkle, tides, crash, follow, stable, flicker, warm. There are a lot of styles that you can have. I personally like follow because it keeps on moving or crash is also a nice one to have. It's totally up to you. Space between edges. I did not change any of these options. I did not have to do it on my S10 plus at least. And now you can change the edge color by going into red, like you can select choose red and it will be red. But how did I do the multicolor thing? For that, select color waves and uh, it will keep on changing colors as you can see on the screen right now. Edge speed can be changed, like you can set it to five and it will keep moving a little bit faster. Another option which I changed was display notification icons is enabled for me. See from which app I have received notification. I did not change any other thing, but you can select show battery level, change background, show text note or anything like that. Uh, you can select music controller buttons, but I personally like to keep my lock screen as uh, minimalistic as possible. So I'm not going to select that. Now we just need to save these settings and it's quite interesting how you have to save the settings. So click on save over here and there is an option of free watch video ad and you have to watch the entire video ad. Otherwise you can pay the developer 
to remove ads and you can unlock everything on your device. And if you're planning to use this application for a longer period of time, then paying a dollar to the developer is not a bad idea. And always on edge will always be here. If you want to disable this, just swipe from left, click on right, click on the settings and disable show notification. It will not show you the notification which you were seeing right now. And that's pretty much it. Let me just lock the screen. So as you can see, it's working fine on my Galaxy S10 Plus. If you still have any more doubts, suggestions, no or queries regarding this application, if this is not working on your device or something like that, uh, do let me know about that in the comment section box below, or you can tweet it to me at direct Dhananjay underscore tech, which is linked. My Twitter profile is linked in the description box below as well. Uh, when it comes to receiving a notification, if I try to press my fingerprint, uh, it takes a little bit extra time as compared to the normal lock screen, which you see over here. Let me show that to you once again. I received the notification. I want to open it. So I press long press over here, but it doesn't get unlocked. If I receive a notification and if the edge lighting is on, if I long press over here, it takes a couple of seconds to get unlocked. Whereas if I'm on the normal lock screen, it unlocks pretty quickly. So that's a disadvantage. I think that will be fixed in coming app updates. Two more apps which I'll recommend to any S10, S10 plus or S10e users. First one is going to be energy ring. Enable this one allow access to energy ring and it will show you the battery percentage left on the notch over here. Right now battery left on my Galaxy S10 Plus is 6% that's why the ring is so small. Second one is going to be Heidi Hole which will be once again linked in the description box below. From here I downloaded this application. The developer is extremely popular and one of my most favorite developers as well. You can download the wallpapers specifically made for your S10 or S10 Plus all the wallpapers which can be found on reddit threads are available at one place in this particular application called as Heidi hole will be linked in the description box below as well give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notified next time i upload an awesome video like this one so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching